My name is Alessandro Vinciarelli. I'm with the School of Computing Science and an associate academic of the Institute of Neuroscience and Psychology. And my research interest is social signal processing, the computing domain aimed at modeling, analysis, and synthesis of nonverbal behavior in human human and human machine interactions. What does it mean? Well, when we interact with others, we tend to focus with our attention on what people say. However, there is a lot of nonverbal communication going on. People display a certain facial expression, they adopt a certain tone of voice, they make gestures with their hands, they have a certain posture, and so on. And this is important because we, as humans, are sensitive to nonverbal behavior. We perceive it with our senses and we interpret it unconsciously in terms of social and psychological phenomena. To give you a simple example, when we see a person that smiles, we tend to think that that person is happy. So how is this relevant to technology? Well, if it is true that we can perceive nonverbal behavior with our senses, it means that we can detect it with sensors. So for example, we can have a camera that can detect the smile on the face of a person and that tells us whether that uh, smile with a certain probability means that that person is happy. And this is something we call analysis of nonverbal behavior. Similarly, if it is true that we humans achieve communicative goals with nonverbal behavior, we can think of building machines that artificially generate nonverbal behavior. For example, we can build robots that uh, display smiles in order to look happy. And this is something that we call synthesis of nonverbal behavior. And analysis and synthesis of nonverbal behavior are exactly the two main problems that social signal processing addresses. Now, why are we interested in addressing these problems? Very simple. All the indications tell us that in the next 10 to 20 years, interactive machines are going to play an increasingly more important role in our everyday life. So we need to have machines that are socially intelligent, meaning that they must be capable to sense the social landscape in the same way as we humans do, and to react uh, to the social landscape in the same way as we humans do. And from this point of view, analysis and synthesis of nonverbal behavior are probably the two most important ingredients. So, social signal processing is a domain that is about people as much as it is about machines, and from this point of view, is probably one of the most interesting and exciting areas of computing science today.